So what's the secret ingredient behind all these success? Yeah, frankly speaking, there's all the unicorns actually, they grow by themselves. But several items I can share with you is the first one is excellence of technology. It's very important starting point. So that's really interesting background. So you've been um, in a few different uh, countries, working on um, different projects and at different stage, setting up business or teaching or doing research, looking at projects. So now you're at, at um, Hong Kong UST, and um, with your knowledge here, yeah, I, I know you have with the uh, knowledge transfer activities and um, as the AVP of the center, what, what, what do you want to bring to the map in uh, oh, right. Hong Kong? Sure. Uh, I don't think I need to explain our university. All right. university ranking is out there. Yeah. But my role is knowledge transfer, which target to create the impact for societies. You can see in the in the right side that is our target. Means that create the impact. The meaning of impact for us is new product, new services, and the change policies. Create a new company. Create a job. This is a uh, impact very clear target we have. And then, but starting from the university research, you can see the far, uh, the left side, we have uh, excellent researchers. Mm. So every year, we have uh, more than 200 inventions coming in. Then how we bridge the gap between this research communities and then industry? This is the job of knowledge transfer. So we can see the several modes of the interactions. Is the first one is deliver technology to the industry directly. We call it as a direct licensing. And second one is that we work together. Mm. You can see we have uh, 508 companies in, have been collaborated with us. Right. The, the other two is we create a company. This is the most active type of knowledge transfer. We, we transfer technology with the people and knowledge technology combined together and then they go out to materialize their ideas. Right. So that is the, the deep tech startups. At the same time, the university has many bright students. They also want to realize their ideas. So we call it all this together is an entrepreneurship development. What do you think um, we should do more uh, in future to promote uh, more uh, talented teams going to start the business? and um, what support we can provide further on this and what are missing yeah, in the ecosystem. Yeah. So, important thing is that we need to understand how this innovation is made. So, it's very traditional way, but it's, it's important to understand the basic of the staff. Innovation started from the idea. You can see the scientists like Einstein, but they are curiosity to different people. They're curious, but they develop something new. However, this curiosity has to be made by somebody, engineering people, mm -hmm. to realize it. And then business people pick up business opportunities and they put the money and they pay manufacture and eventually it reach out to the customers. So that creates impact. All the benefit is done by these end users. So looking at Hong Kong's um, innovation map, I think we have a lot of business people, right? Yes. Uh, do you think we, we need to have more curious people, you mentioned, asking the question, bringing out the, uh, doing the research, and also the engineering people that actually build the things up? Do you think we have enough depth in, in that side? The key benefit we have is we have a very strong university here. So that means that we have a curiosity driven people. How to keep the best researcher is that we just hire best people, give resources, Mm -hmm. Ask them to leave it whatever they want to do, then they will create the excellence. You don't need to teach Einstein how to do the physics. Yeah. So then that is one category of the benefit of Hong Kong. But in terms of the weakness of Hong Kong, later we can discuss about this one. But those who had the experience of bring the technology out, we don't have that many people. So that is one of the lag points. That's why our GBA story works. There are a bunch of people out there that have a manufacturing industry. Eventually, our technology has to be manufactured by the product and the end result is a product or services. So therefore, we have to link, link them up. Investment-wise, I believe we have a certain pipeline of the investors. It's internationally linked. So in a way, we have a good ideas, but there is some gap in between. 
but just next to the, 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 the borders, uh, we have a huge market out there. So that's why we have uh, some benefit, challenges, and the opportunities we have. Right, so linking up with the um, GBA is one big opportunity, and um, that's how we see uh, many unicorns has been built um, by the uh, Hong Kong UST here and the team, the alumni network, and um, counting a big chunk of the uh, uh, successful innovations from Hong Kong. So Dr. Kim, with your few years at uh, Hong Kong UST, um, we can see that uh, you groom a lot of uh, unicorns, uh, counting for a big chunk of a uh, total number of unicorns in Hong Kong. So what's the secret ingredient behind all these success? Yeah, frankly speaking, there's all the unicorns actually, they grow by themselves. But several items I can share with you is the first one is excellence of technology. It's very important starting point. The technology we have, the quality of education we teach to them is one of the, the, the global levels. So that is always starting point. And then the, these bright people, they have ambitions and they follow the examples. The DJI was very many years ago, but still the DJI is the example they follow. And then those who created the DJI is a duplicate that kind of a system to teach our students together. So one good example, inspire our students, they find their own way to succeed.